We obviously need to uh, look at what's happened um, since the austerity policy was introduced. Um, it was notable that the EU was very keen to um, promote women's employment up until the time of the financial crisis and then suddenly women's employment disappeared from the plans uh, for um, the Europe 2020. Uh, it was no longer given a priority. The recession was seen as a man's uh, issue uh, and women then were put uh, to the, on the back burner. Uh, but then of course we moved into a period of um, fiscal um, constraint and public expenditure constraints and nobody really did an analysis of how this was actually affecting women. Uh, and it affects women in two main ways. Um, I mean one factor was that women were the um, the main share of the public sector employees and it was public sector employees whose wages were being frozen and cut. In my own country they've been, there's been long-term caps on um, public sector pay rises and freezes on public sector pay. Um, but also women are, big, are uh, the main users, if you like, of public services. Uh, and um, there was an assumption that uh, they could just pub cut public services and women would fill the gap. Um, but it, uh, I mean, and in, obviously to some extent this is happening with women bearing the burden of, a dual, of working in the wage labour market but taking on more care responsibilities. But it's also the case that family structures don't fit uh, with this model either. Particularly in my own country, they've been cutting social care um, for elderly people and this has resulted in bed blocking within the hospital system uh, causing major problems that um, elderly people are staying too long in the hospital because there's no one to look after them at home and it's partly because in the UK many people don't live in the same uh, area as their elderly parents so the family can't effectively provide the care that the public sector has been, been providing. 